All right then, gang. So now we have a sign up page, a sign up form, and also a register form. And it would be nice to be able to switch between these two screens by having, say, an icon in the top right. So if you're on the sign up page, you can go to the register one if you prefer, and vice versa. So that's what we're going to tackle in this video. So, first of all, let's add these little icons to the top right in the sign in widget and also the register widget. Now, remember to do that, we use something called an actions property inside the app bar. So let's do this inside the sign in widget first of all. And underneath the title, I'm going to add in this actions property. So actions, and this is going to be a list of widgets. Now, there's just going to be one action inside this list, and it's going to be a flat button icon. So we'll say flat button dot icon. And inside this, we need to then specify a couple of things. First of all, the icon itself and also a label. So what text is going to go next to it? So the icon is going to be an icon widget. And inside that, we need to specify from the icons object which icon we want to use. And this is going to be the person icon. So we also need some text. And that is going to be the label property. That will be a text widget. And it will say register. So currently, we're on the signing page, but if they want to register, they click on this icon right here. Finally, we need an on pressed property, which is going to be a function that does something in the future. This will be the thing that ultimately switches us from one screen to another, right? So if I save this now, we should see in the top right. However, we don't. Let me just do a hard refresh here and in fact it's because we're on the sign up or the register screen so let me now go to the authenticate screen over here and change this to sign in so we can actually see this and save it and now we can see this register button right here it doesn't do anything at the minute when we click it but we'll address that later so we've done this now for the sign in screen we need to do the same thing for the register one so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it over in the register screen underneath the title inside the app bar this time change this to sign in so if they're on the register screen they see sign in if they're on the sign in screen they see the register so let me go over here and change this back to register so we can see that in action save it and we can see now we have a sign in button at the top right so now we want to be able to flick between the two when we click these buttons and how are we going to do that well Let's think about it. This authenticate widget right here, this is the wrapper for either one of these two screens. So what we could do is have a piece of state inside this widget. And if that's true, then we'd show one particular form, the sign in, for example. And if it's false, we show the other form, the register form. So let's first of all create that bit of state. We're going to do it inside this thing right here, the actual state object. And it's going to be a Boolean. So bool, and we'll call it show sign in and set it equal to true to begin with. So it's self-explanatory. If this is true, then we want to show the sign-in widget. If it's false, then we prefer to show the register widget. So what we'll do down here is a check. Instead of just hard coding which one we return, we'll do a check to see if show sign-in is true, and then show the sign-in widget if it is, and the register if it's not. So let's do an if check. And inside here, we just want to evaluate show sign in so if that's true then we're going to return the sign in widget now if it's false so the else close right here we're going to return the register widget now by default it's true so if i save this then we're going to see the sign in form right here but what we could do now is create a function which is going to toggle this from true to false and vice versa so let's do that now Let's create void function. It's void because it doesn't return a particular value. And it's going to be toggle view. That's what the function is called. Now, inside this function, all we're going to do is set the state. And in that function, we need to pass through another function as an argument where we can update show sign in. So show sign in is now equal to something else. Now, we don't want to hard code it. We don't want to say false because then if we click on this and it sets it to false, then we have no way to get it back to true because nothing's setting it to true anymore. So what we want to do is just basically reverse what it currently is. So we can do that by placing an exclamation mark in front of show sign in. 
and what that does is get us the reverse of what it currently is so if it's currently true then this will make it false if it's currently false then the value of this will be true so it toggles it it changes it from what it currently is to the other one okay so now we have this function where do we call it from well we want to be able to call this function from our different forms from the register form when we click on the button in the top right and also from the signing form when we click on the button in the top right inside the on pressed function right here but we can't access this function yet inside these two widgets because it's defined over here so what we need to do is pass this function down into these two things right here as a parameter so let's do that first of all let's say okay we're going to pass down a toggle view parameter and by the way the parameter name can be whatever you want it to be it doesn't have to be the same as the function name but the value of this toggle view property that we're passing down is going to be equal to the function name that's the function we're passing down so the value has to be the same right here but the property name can be whatever you want I'm keeping them the same because it just makes sense to me to do that so let me copy that dude and paste it right there and notice at the minute we get errors because these two properties are not actually defined in these widgets we're not accepting them in these widgets so when we actually create these widgets we need to accept them in a constructor and have that property available so what I'm gonna do inside the widget itself not inside the state object we need our constructor in the widget itself is come down here and create a property and that property is going to be final it will be a function that's what we're accepting and it's going to be called toggle view now we'll create a constructor also so register the name of the widget and this accepts toggle view so it will accept that name parameter and set it equal to this dot toggle view which is this property so now we have this property right here available to us now I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to paste it in the sign in widget inside the widget itself not the state object and let's change this to sign in and we don't do it in the state object down here because it's a constructor for the widget okay so we're passing the value into the widget itself not the state object so we have to do the constructor inside the widget itself and not the state object I hope that makes sense but we can still access this property down here inside the build method inside the widget tree and I'll show you how to do that in a second let me just save these for now and we'll do this first of all inside the register widget so what we want to do is just come down to this thing down here on pressed and inside this function all we need to do is say we want to use this toggle view function now now we don't say this dot toggle view because this refers to the state object instead what we can do is refer to the widget dot toggle view like so and the widget refers to this widget itself so the property on this widget is now toggle view and we can access it I hope that makes sense so let me now do the same on the other form so sign in and come down here to the unpressed and inside we're just accessing the toggle view function on the widget instance okay so now if you think about this when we first start the app this is true so therefore we're going to show the sign in widget right but we also pass down this function which is going to be able to toggle that so when I click on register now over here notice it changes and that's because we're activating this function from the sign in widget and when we run that function it's taking the current value of show sign in and reversing it so that now it becomes false and when it's false we show this one the register view so I can toggle between these as many times as I want and all it's doing is toggling this property and showing one of these two widgets dependent on that property is it false or is it true 